Hello, short introduction to this video, I hope, uh, where I make a patch with four Sith. Uh, the reason for this is because when I was down at uh, Mo Dutch Modular Fest, I uh, had lots of fun, met lots of wonderful people. One of the things I did was sell a lot of Sith. Uh, I guess I had a good sales pitch for that one. Um, it was probably one of the most cheap things you could buy at that place also. It's how the industry is. Uh, but um, and one of the main sell sale points of that was the CV recorder uh, that the uh, I had added to the firmware, uh, which is now added to the firmware on the GitHub. If you have a Sith and you haven't updated and you want to try out the uh, CV recorder, I really recommend doing that. Quick, how it works. I have a Sith right here, you don't need to see what I'm doing. Uh, when you ha have chosen this function, number 6 or 7, you take the min pot, uh, you take the min pot uh, and when you turn it all the way counterclockwise, it will clear the buffer. Let's turn this up. And when you turn it, and when it's not in the most counterclockwise and not in the most clockwise, it will just play the, whatever you record. When it's in the most clockwise position it starts to record whatever you have putting in on each on each uh, hold it records a CV value and when you remove it from fully clockwise it will start playing this so you can remove some and you can add some like so and then you have instant melody or if you want to play on this one to play a melody you can do that uh, so that's how easy that uh, little function is uh, and uh, with that said let's show how to make a patch with a bunch of Sith take care bye alright so uh, to show off the modules uh, that I orange show <laughs> what I showed off on Dutch modular fest uh, I've made this patch. So basically the, the one thing I showed off mostly on Dutch Modular Fest was the Sith which I have four in this uh, setup here um, and doing the uh, CV uh, recording function. So this one up here uh, is in that function. Sounds like this. It is uh, So the clock comes from the key step and uh, the key step, uh, that clock is then in this multiple here, it's just spread everywhere in the rack. Um, so let's just use the min value knob to, to the minimum to clear the buffer. So once we've done that, it is now like this. And I'm going to play just a melody here on this one. Uh, it will be a few double steps because we're using the hold. Uh, the, the trick from the all that is playing there. I could also use the uh, the gate out to get each note and pressed much better. But just for this, let's just do this. So there we have it. A short melody is now recorded in this one and is playing the uh, pluck sound down here and if I want I can change key by turning the course knob uh, for some more uh, some more melody but uh, this is what we got now let's use that uh, second thing is a bass drum. So what I've done here is I've taken the uh, on the Sith, Sith down here in uh, sample and slide mode. Uh, have taken the let's move down here. So I have this. That's what I want to have. So it goes from just an octave uh, bass. If we hear this, it's an octave bass. There. Um, the 
the the gate out of this, the, the clock, is going into the moo as I said, to everything, and then this particular clock for this, for this Sith in sample and slide mode is in the uh, goes through the twigs and is divided by two so what we do is we only slide down uh, if we go back to this so now there is still a division but not as big and if we take away the slide this is what it sounds like a normal octave bass but if we add the slide here it slides down. We can also slide up. That's for something else. But so we do this and and now we only get doo, 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 and it's more of a bass drum. This one uh, then goes up to so it's this little sinus oscillator up here. This one then goes into another Sith in. VCA mode, so take the external signal actually it should be that, plus minus 5 volts, much better uh, and um, now we have so we have the decay here so if we take up the decay we get back to the octave bass a bit muffled because it's a low-fi VCA, remember? like this it's just and and if we want we can bit crush it so that's the bass drum and then we have the hi-hat just uh, another one uh, this is percussive noise voice, uh, so these are actually the same, but this one uses the external signal and this one uses the internal signal. So, uh, and... So we do that and we also can sample reduce that one. But we want as high pitched and short as possible. Right. Also, oh yeah, this one. This one goes through the riddles. Should mention that as well. The uh, module I am working on, and it's actually finished with. I am waiting for the last component, the, uh, the 2164 that I'm trying to buy from Alpha Components. Uh, if you know who I should talk to to make that happen, let me know. But don't answer my mails. Uh, so yeah, and as a s final bonus, I have this one. Uh, this is a sample player I'm working on. As you can see, it is a uh, work in progress. More info on that in a bit. And it's just a bunch of bass drums. Uh, I have this ADSR here in loop mode, just looping between the sounds that it has uh, for some, uh, yeah, for some fun uh, percussion stuff in the background. So if we add all these together.
So there we go. Um, yeah, just something you can do with these uh, modules uh, intertwined. Uh, of course, you shouldn't have four Sith modules. I just wanted to show as many stuff as possible uh, all at once. Uh, and this is what we got. So, thanks for watching. Bye.